Hi, hello, welcome, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Megs, I usually read. Today we're doing a little something different, because yesterday I was watching a film and I was like, this is a great video idea. So today I have film recommendations for summer. To start it all off, the movie, the film that inspired this entire video is Vicky Cristina Barcelona. I watched it because I've just been to Barcelona and I was like, let's watch this. Um, I really enjoyed it and I was like, this is a perfect film to watch in the summer. Like it's the summer vibes encapsulated. We follow two friends, two American friends. One of them is Carlos Johansson. The other one, I have no idea who she is. Um, and we follow them as they go on a holiday to Barcelona. It's just like they don't pay accommodation. They're going to stay at a friend's house. Good for them. Um, anyways, they go there. They ended up meeting a painter, Javier Bardem, in this situation. And he invites them to spend the night with him. And it goes on from there. They travel, they appreciate art, they get entangled with... Well, happy about that. <laughs> Both of them. We see relationships develop, messy relationships. At some point, his ex wife shows up and changes the whole dynamic of the relationships, and it's so fun. <laughs> it's such. Like, I really enjoyed it, and I wasn't expecting to enjoy it. And maybe it was because I was just in Barcelona, but it's really just summer vibes it's perfect summer vibes you know when ideally you go and you have a vacation and you don't worry about anything and you're just appreciating your time appreciating your architecture just you're just living life and i feel like summer is for that it's just for living life and that's the vibe this movie gave me they they don't have like big concerns you know i mean they do but like they don't they just be vibing just existing and I love that I love that for them the visuals are great and it's one hour and a half what more could you want quick and easy and fun times if that's what you're looking for I'd say Vicky Cristina Barcelona yeah second movie is obvious it's maybe what should inspire this list but didn't but it's obviously top of the list and that's Call Me By Your Name by Luca Luquedanino I I love this film. It's one of my favorite films. We follow Elio somewhere in northern Italy falling in love with one of his father's like research assistants type of people. Everything is unmatched. It's so so perfect. The cinematography in this film is beautiful, stunning. I just this really is like you know when you're younger and you have time and you have like a whole ass summer like three entire months to do absolutely nothing and just enjoy your time and because there's no technology in this film it's like they really are enjoying their time they're not stuck on their phones they're just like going on bike rides reading dipping in, in and out of the river it's just having conversations, dinners, discussions, and it's just so beautiful, so stunning, it's just everything. It's also very sad, this movie never fails to make me cry, and also it stars Timothy Chalamet, it did start my obsession with Timothy Chalamet, and we're not talking about it, we're moving on to the next film. <laughs> A little bit of a different vibe but sometimes summer days are not that good they're kind of gloomy you know those gloomy summer days that's what this movie is for quiet girl by not even gonna try and pronounce it it's probably irish because the movie is irish it's about a little girl that goes to spend the summer with some distant family because her parents are having another baby and they don't have the ability to take care of her. So she goes to spend the summer with this part of her family. We just see them develop relationships, taking care of each other. And it's just so cute and sad at the same time. It's so, it's so quiet, so beautiful. It also made me cry. 
it's not hard to make me cry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I watched this recently and I really enjoyed it. I love the book. So if we're on recommending things, Books for Summer, Foster by Claire Keegan. <laughs> The next film I want to recommend is La Cienaga by Lucrecia Martel. I watched this the other day because I thought it was summer vibes and we're in summer. So I was also looking for films like this, hence the list. And I thought it was so brilliantly done. I've never seen summer in the stickiness of summer recorded and captured this way. We follow a family as they're in their, I mean, don't want to say decrepit, but it's like not taken care of house. They have a filthy ass pool and just, they just drink all day, lay in the sun. It's so dirty, it's sweaty, it's so sticky and disgusting. It's a bit of an uncomfortable watch, leaving you uneasy. It captures those endless summer days when the heat is unbearable, it's hot and humid outside, you just can't take it anymore, you're laying in bed for hours at a time trying to sleep but you're not comfortable and it's just so disgusting and sweaty and in the movie they lay in the same beds, they have like it's weirdly and creepy intimate because it's a family. I'm not describing this very well, but yeah, it's a really big family and we're following the adults in a lot, a crap ton of kids. But like, some are small and some are like teenagers. And like, the small children, they be playing with guns, just like hunting. It's just nuts. But it was also so good. Never seen anything like it, but I am looking forward to watch a lot more from Lucrecia Martel. Now to change completely the vibes and going for something happy, hopeful, fun. It's basic, but I couldn't not put it in here and that's Mamma Mia. I'm sorry, I had to do it. What else could you want? You're getting married in Greece and you invite your three possible dads because you don't know which one it is and it's a musical at the sound of ABBA, I'm sorry, that's kind of perfect, that's perfect for summer, that's perfect for like uh, end of day, after dinner, with your friends and you all watch a movie and sing along and it's like perfect, you know? Going to Italy again for the next recommendation because we gotta keep it rolling around, I should get a Portugal recommendation here, I don't have any. The next recommendation is The Lost Daughter by Maggie Gyllenhaal. We follow a middle-aged woman, Olivia Coleman, as she's in like the sea side of Italy. And she's intrigued by a young mother and her child and gets involved in, with her and her family in some ways. And we really, they really explore motherhood and she's haunted by the decisions that she made with her own children and it's also so stunning it's kind of like giving melancholy at the beach and it has great performances by Olivia Coleman and Dakota Johnson and Paul Mescal makes a little shiny appearance we love Paul Mescal Speaking of Paul Mescal, he's the star of the next recommendation, and that is After Sun by Charlotte Wells. I, I didn't love this film. I loved the cinematography of this film. It gave me nostalgic feelings for a time in a holiday that I didn't go on. This follows a father-daughter holiday trip. Uh, the father, Paul Maskell, takes her daughter on a trip and we follow this trip. It's during the summer and it's so nostalgic and it's so sad. The daughter is reminiscing on the summer and what it meant for her in her relationship with her father. I loved, loved the cinematography in this movie. 
I remember not feeling very attached to the characters for some reason. Maybe it was my mood because it seems like the film that I would be attached to, but it just didn't really click in that way for me. But it's still, still so sad in a very worthy watch if you're feeling nostalgic and sad in the summer. It's just a stunning watch. Approaching the end of the recommendations, but next I have the worst person in the world. I love this film. I loved it. This follows a girl, a woman, finding out what she wants to do with her life, trying out different careers, different courses at university. She's just living a life. She's just trying to do her best in her worst, in everything in between. In She's just living life and trying to figure it out. She's just trying to find the meaning of life for her in what she wants to do and what it's expected of her. And I just loved it so much. It's also a great coming of age movie. Maybe I am like speaking of experience because when I watched this movie, it was right after finishing college or I was finishing college. And I was thinking so much about my future, and I still am. <laughs> I love it. I love a coming of age movie that is not about like 15, 16 year olds, even 19 year olds. I love an adult coming of age movie because you're always coming of age. The quarter life crisis is real. Like, you don't finish college and know what you're gonna do with your life and life is messy and you don't know what you're going to do and I feel like summer we have so much time the days are so much bigger we have a lot of time to reminisce, to overthink and it really gives you a little bit of peace to know that not everybody has it all figured out and we're all lost and we're all just trying our best to make this time enjoyable <laughs> so yeah it's a great watch. I love it. I feel like these recommendations are so good. I know they are my recommendations, but like they're so different. There's something for everybody, I feel like. Because the next one it was one of my favorite films when I was in high school. I haven't rewatched it in some years, but I feel like I could cringe watching it. But also I have good memories from when I was in high school of watching it, so I kind of won't have a bad experience with it, but that is before sunrise. But this is about two strangers that meet on a train and decide to spend the day together. It's not an event an entire day, it's until sunrise and they gotta catch another train. And it's so beautiful. They just talk, they spend time together, they get to know each other, they fall in love and it's so cute. I I love this movie. It's so simple. It's just slice of life this is the end i have one more recommendation and then i'm letting you go but i hope you watch some of these if you haven't and if you watch them all and have recommendations for me please leave them down below but yeah last recommendation is little miss sunshine this film is kind of everything. I haven't met someone who's watched it and hasn't loved it. We follow a family in all its quirkiness and weirdness as they take a road trip. And I feel like road trips for summer. But the reason they're taking this road trip is because the youngest member of the family, a little girl, is going to participate in a beauty pageant contest. And it's just so good. We explore everybody in all their specificness we get to know all these characters and their family dynamics and it's so beautiful and it makes you cry i cry a lot i do cry a lot let me be um and maybe it's also maybe it's the yellow cover that's giving summer too i don't know I just think it's kind of perfect for summer. Little Miss Sunshine is so beautiful, so heartwarming too. I love it. Please watch it. Please watch all these movies. Thank you for spending your time with me. Are you a film person? If you are, 
please give me your recommendations literally anything i don't watch horror but aside from that i do watch pretty much anything so please leave your recommendations below and yeah that's it for today thank you so much for watching and for spending your time with me and i'll see you in my next video bye